Hello, my name is Adam Bean, and today I would like to use infrastructure's code tool called Pulumi and Java and Maven to deploy a microprofile application um, running on Quarkus as AWS Lambda, um, as a, a, AWS Lambda function URL. So what function URL means is that the Lambda becomes immediately visible or available via a public URI URL. Okay, um, the project is already available from my GitHub account, and the name of the project is or repository is AWS Quarkus Lambda Pulumi Plane. And instead of implementing from scratch, I would just use it and walk through the code, but deploy it live. Okay, let's do this. So the project comprises three folders. Um, we will focus on Lambda and Pulumi. So Lambda is just a stock microprofile application, almost stock microprofile application. It ships with additional extension called Quarkus Amazon Lambda HTTP, which tells Quarkus to generate um, Lambda-specific function zip with a generic function inside, and uh, and but the remaining code is is, is the same. So you without this extension, Quarkus would generate an executable jar. Okay, now um, the uh, there are two classes. One is called Jaxores uh, or J Greetings Resource, which is a Jaxores endpoint. It's application scoped and we have an injected greeter, and the greeter is also application scoped and um, comes with um, config property, which is um, uh, which is a microprofile config property. In this particular case, ships with default value, but it could be uh, also fetched from the environment entries provided by AWS Lambda. And um, yeah, this is basically it. And um, what we also have is is the Pulumi code infrastructure as code, and this is a little bit more interesting. Um, and also a bit uh, a little bit more longer. So we have the executable main method, Java method. We have the function name, which is then passed to the create function method, um, which um, is here. So it's just um, a static method called from the uh, from from main. And the um, and what also happens here, this uh, create function method returns function, and this is the compulumi AWS Lambda function. And uh, we need this function because we have used the function name to um, register a function URL endpoint here. And uh, we wouldn't like uh, to use any authorization, so we can just call the function directly. And there are two exports. One is called function URL and function name. Exports are similar to CDK outputs, so we will see them in the stack and also in the from the CLI interface. What's interesting here, the uh, second um, export is just an export. It says uh, function name, so we see the name, and the first one, it um, returns the um, the uh, function URL, but this is actually a template, so what I'm doing here, I'm saying, okay, uh, apply value, and uh, what I'm concatenating this uh, curl command with the URL and the hello, so, I, so the expectation is to have an executable um, URI in the command line. Okay, the um, the uh, function here looks uh, familiar because um, it is um, it is based as similar to CDK on the same AWS APIs. So we have to provide name, description is optional, uh, role as well. So we'll uh, uh, take a look at the role in, in in a second. The handler and this is interesting. So what happens here is we are we are telling uh, Pulumi to fetch the function zip which was generated by Quark by Quarkus, and it ships from the Lambda. Lambda and target folder. So this is here. We we will find the function zip after after build. Um, okay. Now uh, what's also required by uh, by Lambda is to provide the exec execution role, and um, it, it it ships with two parts. One is um, assume role policy. So we are allowing the uh, service Lambda uh, the Lambda service to assume a role, and uh, the role is a um, managed role here. So this is the manage policy. It is this AWS Lambda basic execution role. This is um, AWS manage role. It means it is already available. It was not created by me. And um, and uh, what I'm what I'm saying here, the role is the execution role, and I would like to um, just to rely on it. And then what I'm also doing, I'm adding additional state uh, policy, and uh, this is um, an action called invoke function URL. So interestingly, in CDK case. Um, it happens behind the scenes in Pulumi. You have to be more explicit. Um, yeah, but the outcome the outcome is the same. And um, yeah, so we are creating the role policy. This is the part of the Pulumi API and role policy um, attachment. 
and um, everything is wired with the IDs here. So it's not like per reference rather than per ID, also a difference to CDK. Okay, um, I think um, it should work. And by the way, what I, what I forgot to show you is that actually the, um, the Lambda part, the Lambda part is executable locally. So if I go here to uh, Quarkus dev, it should start locally. Let's see. So now it started. This was the uh, Lambda function and I can absolutely test it whether it is working or not. Hopefully it is. Yeah, it is. So this is the now the local out output. So I will just shut it down. Okay, this was the local test and now try to deploy it remotely. So um, what I did, I provided a, a script, which is called uh, build and deploy. And it, uh, what it does, it builds the uh, function zip first. And uh, now it asks me to create a stack. So now the name of my organization is Bean, like my name. Uh, oh, I have to say yes, create the, yeah. It's Bean and then dev. So I have to create initially a stack. And uh, now it uh, deploys the application. So, and uh, it says, okay, what I would like to do is to, um, to create all the resources would you like to do this? I say, yes, go ahead and do this. So <clears throat> what I also would like to do is to show you what um, what's happens in the script. It's fairly simple. It just switches to the Lambda folder and says clean package, which results in the functional zip. Then it switches back to uh, the Pulumi package and says Pulumi up. So this was like the two, two parts. Okay, the Lambda is now creating and deploying. Um, what I also forgot to show you that actually, uh, oh, three seconds ago. So um, the Lambda is almost deployed. It took uh, 23 seconds, so I was too slow, but you can see the Lambda function is here. And uh, what I would like to do is just to call it and see whether it is working. So um, just copy this. The first call is a slow one because it's a cold start. And hopefully the second cold call is faster. It is faster. And uh, yeah, it is working. So um. Thank you for watching. See you at our upcoming conferences, projects, or even online workshops, Airhex Live. Thank you and bye.